I'll continue this article. Okay. Uh, yeah, then they will understand that the struggle isn't about, quote, cities that we rule or land that we will roam about in. It's a matter of, quote, the religion that we seek to stand up. Yet the mess, yet the message really isn't as downbeat as throwing oneself in a pit of fire might suggest. The Islamic State's media outlets still preach that the inevitable triumph, even though the triumph might be further off than previously imagined, uh, uh, as Adnan, Ad, Adnani claimed in his final words, the Islamic State is still promised victory in the long run, and in the meantime, it's still gaining strength, being, quote, many times more powerful than in previous years. <laughs> Ever get the feeling that uh, Adnani is another Baghdad Bob? That's what I'm getting the feeling. Yeah, Islamic State's media outlets still preach about their inevitable triumph, even though the triumph might be further off than previously imagined. Tell me about it. Uh, if Putin didn't uh, go in there into Syria, I don't think uh, ISIS would be crumbling in Iraq right now because Putin showed Oblamer how to really do it. You don't go after empty uh, Toyota pickup trucks and uh, bomb uh, buildings uh, that are empty after warning them and say, we're, we're, uh, make no mistake, uh, we're going to bomb them, you know, and then they leave so they can bomb empty buildings with uh, million dollar missiles. Uh, Putin showed a blamer how to do it. Now, uh, the Islamic State's on the ropes. Okay. A variation on the theme emerged two weeks after Adnani's speech when Al Naba, <clears throat> that's a newspaper, argued that Islamic that the Islamic State was winning in a generational sense. It had reared an entire generation which would have to be wiped out before its enemies could taste victory. The same sentiment was found following the loss of Manbij, Manbij in northern Syria in August. A popular essay published online titled We Lost Manjid Manji But We Won But We Won the Battle argued that the Islamic State had quote won a generation quote a generation won a generation unquote to its way of thinking through its educational efforts. The Islamic State you know, you know the Nazis fought on even after Hitler was dead, you know, so uh, just not as well. They because the Russians really pecked them off. Like I think the Russians will do to the Muslims in Syria and Iraq. The Islamic State's prioritization, prioritization of Bakia over Tatamadada uh, doesn't mean that it is entirely waiting for the loss of the territories under its control. Instead, it is laying the ideological groundwork for such a possibility in hopes not only to console supporters, but also to inspire them to keep fighting by recalibrating recalib recalibrating its message. The goal is to urge them to give their lives for the Islamic State in its in its time of difficulty. <clears throat> yeah, don't let them but don't let them know that Muhammad taught that embryos go through a 40 day blood clot stage. Or that the mountains are placed down instead of pushed up. Yeah. They are, according to the Quran, mountains are placed down by Allah to keep down the earthquakes, which you find in Al Tabari uh, Tasfir, Muhammad said, is due to the earth being spread out on the back of a giant fish. Okay, as for the current battle for Mosul, the Islamic State has not yet given up the hope that the city can be held. Indeed, as Al Naba, Al -Naba and other outlets have suggested, the struggle for Mosul could very well turn out like the famous Battle of the Trench in which the Prophet Muhammad and his followers successfully defended the city of Badina in a drawn-out siege. And they captured these Jews, almost uh, like 900 of them, and slit their throats. Uh, Muhammad did, actually. As an essay making this comparison notes, it was at the Battle Trench in the fifth year of the Islamic calendar that the Prophet finally turned several years of misfortune around. Yeah, because he killed all these innocent Jews. 
<clears throat> Medina was besieged for a month by a broad coalition of forces, far more numerous than the defenders. But the early Muslims prevailed. To repeat the victory is the hope and dream of the current defenders of Mosul. Of course, they are unlikely to succeed. When, they, when the city finally falls and the dream fades, the long period of trial and testing, trial and testing, quote, will resume. If history is any guide, this is unlikely to be the last of the Islamic State. Yeah, you know something? Right. As long as there's Islam, as long as there's Quran 9, 111, 30, Quran 9, 111, 38 and 39, of, of Surah 9, there's going to be an Islamic State in some form or other. Whether it's Al-Qaeda, Boko Haram, uh, Al-Shabaab, Shabaab, ya da 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 uh, You name it. Uh, ISIS, but 